we've had a lovely mooring spot for the best part of a week and now we're moving into Gargrave ahead of us just a few miles and three locks reluctantly reluctantly uh, we need water again but uh, we've just been reliably informed by another boater that the lock ahead three locks ahead is uh, limited passage it's only open for one hour a day apparently or something like well, that i think it's an hour today and then it only on a saturday and we had no idea no and we didn't get a notification <laughs> from crt but there you go so it's uh, lucky so we're lucky that we're moving today um but um it's been a fantastic spot we've been moored in and the first thing we do when we sit down after we've moored up and put the cover <laughs> up and that is get the map books out and find out where we are get the big broad ordnance survey map out and have a look where all the pathways are and uh, so it's yeah it's brilliant and we've done so much walking had to stop the walking at the moment because i've been so ill oh bless you <laughs> i have uh, yeah. had a nasty cold and a rotten cough now but uh, on the mend and also yeah. it's been really misty isn't it and it's been a lot of gray days drizzly days it's not been like this no. um, but we'll see we're now headed for a frozen spell for the next oh, four or five days after today yeah, apparently it's going down to minus four or five celsius maybe six which i know is bikini weather for you guys in <laughs> north america and canada but uh, it's enough to make the canal freeze so uh, we're just going to stay put until that weather's passed. We've been out and stocked up with kindling this morning and um, we've got coal and once we've got water we'll be okay for 10 days I guess yeah, if we, we don't will. have to move. Yeah. So um, yeah and we're going to have clear bright skies so it might be some frosty walks if you're feeling up oh, to it. Oh yeah I know. Anyway there's a swing bridge here we've got to get off and get that done. <laughs> Super high way, super wet way, super slow way, super low way. Ooh, interesting. Every day is a school day here on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. I've never seen this before. It's just a lever that you pull up to uh, release the water into the lock. But it can be a bit dodgy because you have to get really close to the water's edge to lift it up. But I uh, managed to do it, got there. And I don't think I'm going to be bothered to uh, walk the other side and do that one. And just let it happen. Because the boat in front still has not got through the Lex lock. So, no rush. Oh, Jess. Yeah. Yeah.
we're walking the Pennine Way. Not all 260 miles of it, just uh, six miles from where the boat is at Gargrave up to the village of Malham. It's, um, we're frozen in this morning. The canal is iced over, sprinkling of snow, but the forecast was for this glorious sunshine and it is the best day to do this walk, I think, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. The snow is now melting on the ground. Uh, we've just got another mile or two to do, maximum. And I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful place to be. And we walked some of this um, just about five days ago in a really, really windy day. <laughs> and we were sinking up to our ankles in mud, but it's all frozen. So it's been dry underfoot. Not too um, bad. Just, we're warm enough now. We've stripped off a few layers of we'll be going along, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, just, just the scenery is spectacular and there's hardly anybody about. Wind's picking up a bit, so I hope it's not too noisy for the camera. We've um, we've been in and around Gargrave now, a mile either side of it, for the last six weeks, friend, yeah. something like that. We weren't very well over Christmas, neither of us, so we're just getting over it now. A month later, we've had this terrible cough and cold that just would not shift, but we're uh, we're on the mend now. So um, hopefully we'll get back into the swing of things with videos, etc. But uh, really enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah, so, Gargrave yeah. is such a beautiful village and we haven't explored it at all. And in fact, we've actually turned the boat around and we're going back about 16, 17 miles, I think. Yeah, not, not quite, um, but yeah. And we're going to start again because we didn't get to film a lot of the stuff coming up. The weather was not good. We've missed stuff out. So we've just um, decided to turn around, go back and start again. Start again, <laughs> re-video it. So you haven't missed anything. <laughs> <laughs> such is such is the, the amount we're enjoying it we're just happy to go back and redo it and uh, I think we're just gonna keep going really slowly uh, for the spring as well because we really want to be in this area for for the beginning of spring and during spring so yeah we're not going anywhere fast no we're not we're not we're not we're not anyway <laughs> cup of coffee some biscuits and we'll get on the and move again are we having a sarni, are we? I am. I don't know about you. If you're not, I'm having two. <laughs> Those North American friends, a sarni is colloquial for a sandwich uh, in this country. This is known as a door st doorstep. <laughs> doorstep. <laughs> Bloody hell. The bread was so fresh this morning, I couldn't cut it thin. Oh, yeah. That's my excuse. <laughs> Cheers. Somebody's country retreat. It's a steep one. It's still going up, you know. Well, for the last six months or so, we've been actively looking for a mooring, a residential mooring with a little bit of land on it that we can uh, do gardening on. We actually thought we'd found one a couple of weeks ago to buy um, and it was quite cheap and we were ready just to buy it without even seeing yeah. it. Um, and then once we spoke to the estate agent, not only could you not put any structure on it at all, so not even a shed for your bikes, you couldn't grow anything on it either. Yeah. So that was a no-no. Yeah, we, um, sorry, next month will be five years since we started vlogging on the boat. And uh, we're getting to the point now where we're really missing gardening. Um, we especially grow in vegetables, fresh vegetables. So we're looking for a piece of land that we can buy that's near a canal or a river or actually a, a, a canal rent. side mooring that or we even can rent. live on. Or even rent, you yeah. Know, ideally to buy, but to rent for, you know, would be fine. We've actually even tried getting an allotment, but um, you, can't, back yet. Yeah. you can't generally get an allotment unless you've got a house address. In the village or town where <laughs> it is. 
but that's all. We don't really, really don't feel like we're ready to go back to a house or land no, life. No, no. The boat is perfect and we still want to cruise, but maybe for summer months just to sit tight and grow and grow yeah. our vegetables and then go out cruising in the autumn in between and winter. times in, yeah. and then big cruises in the winter. So if anybody knows of anything, <laughs> yeah. we're just getting a bit desperate now. Um, yeah, we're really missing gardening. We're really missing getting our hands in the soil, aren't we? And We've got to the stage where I keep pouncing on people that are canal side if they've got a little bit of land and asking them if they feel like renting or selling up. <laughs> but... We'll get there, I'm sure. I'm sure we will. But we're not going to stop vlogging. We're going to keep doing our cruises and walks. So uh, don't worry. We're not going to find a bit of land and then plant ourselves there for good. It's, it's, this has always been about lifestyle for us and our simple living life we want to live simply and food in particular it's really difficult we can't eat as we want to eat everything no. that we buy is plastic coated or chemically sprayed um and we're not free to eat how we want to eat no, if we grow so, our own most of our own we uh, know what's been on it and not been on we'll it we'll be so. part way there won't we yeah so, um that's it so it's always going to be about our lifestyle really more than the canals isn't it it's yeah, just that we absolutely. choose to live on the boat and move around and that's what our life is so so it. <laughs> this walk's nearly done i think there's about half a mile or so to go so let's get it done that there is malham cove uh, not going to get there today because we've got to be in the village for 1 30 to get the bus back but uh, we're going to catch the bus in the next few days or so and uh, do a circular walk around the village and around that but uh, today we've just got to get this walk done isn't that absolutely stunning just look at that we were Well, here we are, journey's end, beautiful village of Malham. So we've got an hour's wait for the bus, and I know where I'm going. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Orange juice. <laughs> this is the bus to take us back to Gargrave. It's a grey, miserable, cold day, viewers, and uh, you find us working hard. I'm editing this video you're watching now, and what are you up to, Fran? I'm writing a blog. <laughs> I think you'd rather be in front of your loom, wouldn't you, than your laptop? Oh, I'd rather be scrubbing the size of the boat than sitting at a laptop. This is not my forte in life. I have the words, but I don't have the expertise. <laughs> and there's some parcels to post, but there's a problem. Yeah, we've been a bit frustrated lately because the wonderful um, Royal Mail have got a problem and have been subjected to a cyber attack. So we've had two visits to post office, which is five miles away in the last week or so. Um, and the system is down. We can't post anything overseas. So we've messaged everybody that has ordered and they're all being really understanding. So thank you very much. But... We can't send anything abroad at the moment. And, and you've I, got other things ready to post as well. This has got to be listed on the website. Some of it is actually sold um, and I can't post it. So we are told that within the next couple of days it'll be back to normal, aren't we? So yeah, yeah. It's really, it's really um, knocked us back a little bit. So I do apologise to everybody, but hopefully we'll be back sending out straight away soon. And uh, I've got another hour or two to finish editing this video and uh, we'll be back up and running. Yeah. So that's us for this little video, just an update to let you know we're still alive and uh, we've turned the boat around so we're heading back to the lovely village of Kildwick, is that right? Kildwick? Kildwick or maybe even Silston, we'll yeah. just see how we feel. And uh, to video all the things we've already seen uh, for you to see. Um, we haven't been slacking have we Fran, we have been busy. Yeah we have, but there's, we have been limited and there is still so much to do which is why we're going back, we've got so many walks. 
we've got exciting days out to do which i'm not even going to tell you about because it's too exciting train journeys oh steam train journeys um yeah and spring is definitely in the air in fact i've even been washing the boat a little bit this morning so um we'll feel more like getting out and about more won't we and filming so. yeah 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 and there's a big nationwide event this weekend friend yes if anybody's in the uk watching it is the big garden bird watch all you need to do is spend one hour even if you haven't got a garden you look out your window or you go to a park one hour counting the birds have a look online for the big garden bird watch um and join in because we will certainly be doing it somewhere or other won't we it we really will. helps them yeah. to assess what's happening with our bird population yeah uh, we'll Do go you... and spot our one sparrow or whatever and we the find squirrel, won't we? usually <laughs> just <laughs> So that's it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Yep. Thanks to all our patrons and YouTube members, and thanks for being patient, and we're back. Yes. Yeah, we are. Are we back? We're back. We're back. I'm back. <laughs> anyway, see you soon. Ta-ra. Bye.